So, I have recently reached 100 million gold collection. I've gotta say, I really liked it. Gold mining is one of the most unique and fun metas, in my opinion. So, I'm here to tell you about it. Regrettably, I honestly don't know how much collection this made per hour. I didn't really track it, and it is extremely variable given the fact that lobby hopping can take quite a while. I also had my stream finding lobbies for me, which was really helpful. If I had to make an estimate, I'd say that I was getting about 2 million collection per hour. These are casual rates though, and if you're really trying, you can probably get a lot better. So, I'm going to start with the best way to do this. The best way to gold mine is by searching through lobbies for a mine of Devon with a lot of gold. I'm sure you already knew this, as this part of the method is ridiculously well known, hence nearly every lobby already being mined. You'll want to swap lobbies until you get to a day 3 or below lobby, then go to the nucleus. Then, enter the mithril deposits, go a decent bit inside it, and use a wishing compass. If the wishing compass points to the nucleus, you swap lobbies. If it points to the nucleus, that is because there is no mines of Devon in that lobby due to conflicting with other structures. If you really need to, you can take a second wishing compass use, and use any use wishing compass triangulation mod to get the exact coordinates of the mines of Devon. It also helps a ton to do this in a party. I wouldn't recommend a party of above three people, as at that point you start clearing the gold too fast. When you're lobby hopping, you have an extremely high chance to hop into a lobby with a party member. So when you're searching, you disband the party, and when one person finds a spot, they party the other people and warp them. Now, once you find a mines of Devon with decent gold in it, you can start mining. But how does one mine the gold efficiently? I'm going to start with the gear today. A key part of gold mining is mineral armor. Surprisingly, this armor set works on mines of Devon gold. You don't want to wear full mineral armor though, because you just get more profits from using one Devon piece and three pieces mineral. I'd honestly recommend putting Jaded on and recombobulating your mineral armor, because it's not incredibly expensive and is a worthwhile buff. One thing that is super important for this method is the Blue Cheese Goblin Omelette. The way that this item works is that it adds one level to every unlocked Heart of the Mountain perk. This includes mining abilities. So, it takes you from plus 300% speed for 20 seconds, to plus 400% speed from 25 seconds on a mining speed boost. If you put this item on a second drill, and then use your mining speed boost on the second drill before the game has time to update your mining speed stat, it isn't as hard as it sounds. Then swap back to your main drill, it'll be as if you used the ability on your main drill with a blue cheese goblin omelette. The benefit of having it on a second drill instead of your main one is that you also get to keep 50 fortune from still using a sunny side goblin omelette. So now you can use your blue cheese goblin omelette boosted mining speed boost to instantly mine the gold, which is a key part of this method. To instantly mine the gold, you'll need 36,000 mining speed, which is a lot. Mining speed boost on activation with a blue cheese goblin omelette takes the speed that you have upon activation and multiplies it by 4. 3 if you don't have a blue cheese goblin omelette. It then adds that amount to your current mining speed. So, if I start with 7,340 speed, then use mining speed boost, it will give me 36,940 mining speed, which is enough to instantly mine the gold. But wait, why 36,940? It should be 36,700, right? Well, Unlike other mining speed stats, the server immediately updates drill module parts, which is the slot you put your blue cheese goblin omelette into. So, the blue cheese goblin omelette adding a level onto mining speed 1 and 2 gives an extra 60 speed, which is then multiplied by 4 and added to your mining speed. So, you essentially get an extra 240 speed. However, to achieve the base speed needed to exceed 36,000 mining speed in a speed boost, you'll need to replace a few pieces of mineral armor with Devon armor. So, you're thinking, simple. When your speed boost is ready, you swap to Devon armor, as instantly mining the gold outweighs the extra blocks mined from mineral armor. No. Remember how I said earlier that mining speed boost takes the speed at the time of activation? Yeah, it isn't constantly updating with your gear changes. So, if you take off your Devon armor, for me it's only two pieces, and replace it with mineral, it won't take away the mining speed boosted speed from the Devon armor. It will take away the non-boosted speed. So, five times less. So, if you have enough overflow speed above 36,000, you can replace the Devon armor with mineral, and you can still instantly mine the gold, which is 
ridiculously overpowered. The easiest way to swap armor is with NEU slot binding. I'll put a link to the NEU Discord in the description. You can hold the key you use for locking slots to draw a line between slots. Draw a line between the armor pieces you want to swap. For me, it's the leggings and boots. And then you can shift-click the items to swap them. So, in order, you swap to your Devon armor, whether you need to use full Devon or only three-fourths Devon to get the speed you need. Use your mining speed boost with a blue cheese goblin omelet, swap back to your mineral armor, and then take advantage of being able to instantly mine the gold. If you can't instantly mine it, no need to worry. You won't be able to mine gold as efficiently, but it's still not a terribly hard collection to get. Now that that's over, the other parts of your gear. You can use your regular drill or whatever to mine the gold, but if it has a universal mining slot in it, then you should replace the topaz gem you probably have there with a jade one. Topaz does nothing for gold mining, and the jade gem just gives some extra fortune, which is nice. That extremely short section covers the gear part. You can use the same things like pet, equipment, etc. I just went over the stuff that changes from a normal mining setup. So, now for the Heart of the Mountain Tree. You'll see a lot of people doing gold for money under Heart of the Mountain 7, but I really wouldn't recommend that. So, in this video, I'm going to show trees assuming you have 15 tokens. If you can instantly mine the gold with Mining Speed Boost, then you'll want to use the tree shown on screen now. One key thing to note about this tree is that it is massively buffed by having the 20% pickaxe cooldown reduction active on Skymall. This perk is bugged to work in the Crystal Hollows, and Skymall also only changes if you enter the Dwarven Mines. So, if you get the reduction, and then start lobby hopping, you can just warp to the hub every time instead of the Dwarven Mines to keep your Skymall buff. If you can't instantly mine the gold in your mining speed boost, then you'll want to use the tree shown now. Well, that's everything I have to say about gold mining. I really just wanted to get out the things about doing it in a party, and the armor swapping for mining speed boost thing, as I felt those were extremely overlooked and should be more widely used. Anyways, have a good day, and happy gold mining. Alrighty. Do it! They're trying to spleef me. Boom. Let's go! 100 million gold, let's go! Yeah! <laughs> I'm getting so many GG's for something that isn't even that.